today we're gonna to be talking about the match when Joey McKenna would shut down the young freshman Nick. So the match would start off with McKenna getting a nice single leg and then shelving it to get the finish on his hip, doing a really nice job staying with the takedown, even though Nick Lee would show some great defense and almost hit a switch. And Lee would get an escape and fire off his own shot to answer back. He would get to a similar single leg on the other side of McKenna and then shelf it and finish in a similar way that Joey McKenna did early on in the first period. Now he's going to go ahead and try to attack the far leg of his own, get a little bit better angle for it, and McKenna gives it up. And there, Lee just being a hammer on top would have several mount returns, keep McKenna on the ground and finish the period on top. And driving through and attacking the hips. Key. A lot of maturity from Lee. In the second period, after being down 2-3, McKenna would end up having to go on top as Lee would choose bottom and go up 4-2 after getting an escape, but then right in the closing seconds of the second period, McKenna would get a somewhat controversial takedown on Lee, and without a challenge from Penn State, he would end up making the score 4-4 going into the third. From there, he would choose bottom and end up getting an escape to push him forward 5-4, but with his riding time pretty much locked in, he effectively had a 6-4, to four. but then after that nice go-behind takedown by Lee, the score would be 6-6, six to six. but Lee, thinking that he wouldn't be able to ride him out for the rest of the minute and 15 seconds, would cut McKenna, so McKenna would be able to hold on and win the match 7-6 to six in this crazy upset and a humongous win for Ohio State in this duel. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this. Peace.